Don't get too many ideas, you fools! You haven't seen the power this vessel really oh, has! Oh, the First she's gonna transform this thing. Get a load yep. of this! Yeah, if you, th uh, yeah, if you thought that uh, only Tails can do that, no, Eggman's also like that. Yeah. Oh, wow! It's changed shape! Did you see that? Darn! This makes it harder for us to get to the bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. Find out if you can figure this one out. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'll show you. Bring it on. Okay, let's go. This must okay. be the way to the Where sky deck. Where are we going? We're heading for the sky deck. Ah! I don't want to go there. It's dangerous. <laughs> well, it has some big cannon. Wow! Yeah, but you can all also easily fall down. Yeah, yeah, true. true. If you jump the wrong at the wrong time, you fall. Yeah, or at the wrong direction. Yeah, and uh, well. I'm pretty good at jumping wrong direction. But I want to say that actually this ship has a bridge. Yes, I know. That's, that's, that's how I want to go actually. But the bridge of this thing, for me, it doesn't really look like a bridge. It's more like a little command center than really a bridge. I mean, the bridge of a ship, how the ship functional systems and all that shit. How's the communication array and all? I won't bother you guys with the description, but just to tell you that this thing, bridge, doesn't feel really like the bridge of the Oh, uh, you just get one thing. What do I have to get? It doesn't really matter what a bridge looks like, to be honest. You think? No. Yeah. And I'll, t and I'll tell you why. As long as the ship is working, and as long as it's your ship, you can call it whatever you want. Yeah, true. I mean, I could uh, call the chair I'm sitting on a stool. Yeah. <laughs> no, that would and be I could, wrong. And I could, uh, and I could, and I could call uh, the the ship actually uh, a boat. <laughs> it's a flying boat. <laughs> you, you check it out. <laughs> no, but just give my. It's the SS me. Titanic flying machine. Oh, that's <laughs> bad. What? Ow! <laughs> Spiky ball. Thank you. No, but the you see my ball point. Yeah. Reach a bitch to him, so he's not. <laughs> yeah. Not for me either. But well, actually, I was making a little mistake, and this is not a start. This thing is that the, the ship which only has atmospheric flight capability and cannot enter space. But you know, I was thinking. Well, I, I think, well, actually, I think it can, but it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. But why wouldn't he do I that? Mean, I mean, Sonic wouldn't be able to reach him there. So, what's the point of not entering space then? It would be a matter to get well away from Sonic. Uh, Eggman isn't really that smart. Uh, I know, but you don't really get it, do you? Uh, it it actually plays around the time that uh, they are that well they have the because of case control they have uh, entered the, the Earth. Uh, uh, yeah, you know. And, 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 because they're not really from the Earth. They they uh, they uh, well you've seen the Mystic Ruins, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I yeah. Like, yeah. Well, that's actually a part of their world that has come to our world, let's say. Station Square is our world, Mr. Groot is their world. That's where Sonic lives and came from. Okay, it's, it's a piece of planet Mobius. And uh, so, so that's why. So, 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 uh, so if he would fly away, he would fly away from his own planet. Yeah, that's good. Because he wants to conquer it, so yeah. why would he? Yeah, it's 
could have been true, yeah, I mean, that's true what you could say, I mean. And to be honest, Sonic could reach him, even if he's in space. I mean, Sonic wouldn't die. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, since he can't stand on the water without really dying, you know. Something I remember from the series, since I have seen the series, but... And I've seen all the episodes. I don't really remember it all, people. Yeah, uh... No, I do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really big Sonic fan. Yeah, really. I know some people. Which yeah, no, I know, I know, and it also goes for uh, the Super Mario Brothers yeah. series. Strong winds will blow you off course. When the ship increases Mario speed, Mario and Armin, yeah, you know all, all the all those guys. I'm actually looking for a. I mean, I'm gonna ask you, you know, my subscribers, and people will watch this uh, video. I am looking for a really good. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be an RPS base, but I'm looking for a really good base game to say that. And to be honest, I played some games. I'll describe them in the. Yeah, I'll describe them in the comments for you guys. So, not in the comments. In the comments, you could also do it just yeah, in the I description. Wanna, yeah, I want to put it in the description and. I want to have your opinion as well on those games and what type of game they are. It doesn't matter to me if it's a simulation or anything, as long as it takes place in space. Since our little talk about space and starship bridges got me excited to play space. You think he's kidding? He's not. As oh. long as it takes in space, he would play it. Yeah, I would play I mean, I bet, I, I bet you like Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. I played only one, yeah, I only played one, but it, I liked it. And it wasn't really because it took place in space, it was just because of the gameplay I really liked. It was quite interesting yeah. gameplay. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. Don't you have to say that there's like sometimes games from Things that you don't really like, but that's the gameplay that keeps you actually attracted to the game. You ever play some a game like that? Um, I I'm wouldn't. Stuck I, don't, I don't think I have. No. I don't think I have. No. Uh, although, although, to be honest, it, it, it was uh, that, um, but that, you know, I have sometimes that, uh, you know, I, I hear Taito and then I'm like, eh, it's horrible. But then, when you actually get to see it, then you're like, Oh. My. God. I mean, I, I had that with, with, with two games that I do know. I had that with, um, Def Jam The Fight for New York, and Mad Ash Racing, which I showed you. Yeah, you showed me. When, 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 when I heard about it, 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 it sounded like, uh, it sounded like a, a racing game with, no. uh, you know, just cars and, the, and, and that kind of but it actually turned out to be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you have it with titles, I have that with Steam games. I, mean, I have to say, no offense to your Call of Duty fanboy, but when I actually saw a Call of Duty game... No, yeah, it I looks like, boring, huh? Yeah, it looks really boring, but when I was playing it, I was like, this is a really good game, actually. If it does the same with me, it sounds boring and it looks boring, but but to be honest, I to be honest, I only play it only once, and that 